Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 22 of the Lico Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about this one. So apparently I haven't done this in four years or so. Open, or what year is this? I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter, right? Open the lock, 752 medium. Uh, I want to say, I don't know, I... If you st if you are not live on the uh, on the chess update, skip the next ten seconds or maybe twenty seconds because it's a little bit spoilerly. But if you've been watching my stream, you know that I've been way uh, or my YouTube's, you know that I've been way much on top of watching the candidates. It's just fun drama. I don't even play chess to be honest. I'm not even lying. Uh, I mean, I know enough chess to do competitive programming or whatever, but um, but I don't know anything about chess beyond that. Uh, so I just like the, the drama, but, uh, but yeah, so congrats to Gurkesh for being the youngest, uh, or, well, not yet, I suppose. I don't know, if, is he the youngest candidate person? Hmm. I actually don't know. I don't know all the history, but if he wins, he'll be the youngest, uh, world champion, which is always exciting to see. I was not gonna lie. Uh, I mentioned this in the beginning of the candidates. Uh, I am, uh, I'm, I'm winning for the American just because I'm American, you know, there's not, not much complicated to it, but it's still very fun to see, uh, very fun and very nice to see Kakash, you know, just, you know, uh, uh, all the credit to him, just like keeping it under nerves, you know, keeping it control and calm and just kind of pull it through. For some people, um, well, I'm not, I mean, you know, I, I'll just use myself as an example, because uh, like, even for me, when I do a contest and I do very well, like I do, you know, the four problems on the eco contest, the, you know, Q1, 2, 3, 4. If I do Q1, 2 and 3 way, way quickly, I get a little bit like adrenaline, a little bit nervous and I have to like just go and, and try to do Q4, you know, and sometimes it's trickier that way. But, uh, but yeah, so it's kind of like that, but except for it's just two weeks of pressure of, uh, uh, man, that is tough, for, and especially for, for a young men. So, um... All the credit to him. Good luck to him versus Ding. I'm sure uh, on the championship we'll talk about it here a little bit as well because I'll probably catch it. I mean, you know, why not? Right? Uh, but it'll be exciting. I'm just excited to kind of see chess. I don't, I, I'm not going to lie though. I don't know that much about Kakesh, um, like his style or, or just his history. I mean, he's too young to have that much of a history, I guess. But I just don't really know that much about him before this candidate. So uh, I'm very excited to kind of look into that. Uh, at some point in the future. Anyway, sorry for the... Uh, it's not even my, my news, but... Uh, we had one more update that I want to say is that... Um, <clears throat> recently on my my Discord, I've gotten questions about... Um, you know, I do actually have a lot more viewers l lately with respect to just coming from random sources, uh, like like the Instagram reels or whatever. But the the question is... What is the best order to learn these things like, you know, breath of search, depth of search, sorting, uh, uh, I don't know, trees and all these other things. Right? There's, there are a list of things. What is the best order to to learn all these things? Uh, well, I'll, I'm going to answer that in my video uh, tomorrow. I believe it's tomorrow uh, on my other channel. It, um, it's full of just I want to say it is in um just like all these tips on how to kind of attack um, learning all these things. So I'm, tomorrow on that channel, I'm going to talk about what's the best ordering or how do you, you know, set the ordering in how to um, just get good at all these algorithms and stuff like this. Um, but you could also probably maybe use it for non-algorithms as well. But it's just like a, because it's usually I try to keep it, you know, just like a philosophy type thing. It doesn't have to be, you know, and some of them it does. Yeah, but uh, but yeah. Uh, all right. Anyway, uh, so the channel is, of course is actually called Looking Up with Larry. Um, I'll have a link somewhere in case you're wondering. All right, let's actually get started. Today's problem is seven fifty two. Open the lock. Uh, you have a lock in front of you with four circular wheels. Each wheel has ten slots. Okay. F zero zero zero, and then now you have. Okay, so you have places that you cannot reach, but otherwise you have a target, right? Uh, I mean, I think the easy thing to do... Oh, wait, am I misreading? No, no, no. Oh, this is the length of the deadlocks, uh, of the forbidden stuff. Um, okay, I mean, given that the length of... It only has four digits, um, that, that means there are only, only 10,000 possibilities, so that means that um, a breath search or something like this will be good enough. So that's what 
we should do. Of course, this is a breath of search with some uh, forbidden states. That's fine. Not, not, not that tricky, right? So, uh, yeah, so let's do that and we'll just get started, right? So, uh, so the first thing I want to do is convert this into a, a set, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm just looking, I'm just thinking a little bit right now. Um, the decision, I'm, it's not a major decision, it's just an implementation de uh, decision. It's just deciding whether I want the, the dead ends to be in, in strings or in int. This doesn't really matter. It's just both, either of them, I, or I don't know, maybe it does matter, but I, I don't see, um, I don't see a very obvious, like I don't know which one is easier, obviously, immediately. Like it might be that I choose the wrong one, but that's fine. So yeah, let's get started. Right, so here we're gonna use breath for a search um, because everything is, the, the distance is one, right? So, and here we wanna append, say zero, 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 right? And here we have say, uh, let's convert it to, I, I call it forbidden, I don't know why, maybe it's just from something. But yeah, ju we'll just convert to this. And then now we can say, and best is to go to do, and then best of, is equal to zero, right? Something like that. Oops, this has to obviously be before. Uh, yeah. And that's pretty much it for the setup. Now we have breakfast search stuff, pretty standard, right? And then now we can change one of the four digits, right? And you could go up or down. So maybe, um, I don't know, I, I write D for like DX or DY or like Delta, but, um, you know, one and negative one, right? Uh, and then basically, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, the, uh, okay, so now it's a string. So then now, it's a little bit awkward, but it's probably fine. Uh, all right, so next is you go to, um, yeah, we'll, we'll just write it out, right? So then now, Current digit is going to be uh, uh, current digit is going to be now sub i, right? Um, int of that, and then current digit we add it to d. We'll add d to it, and we want to mod it by ten so that it rolls over if we, um, or if you subtract one, it also rolls over. At least in Python, in, in non-Python language, if you subtract, it does not automatically roll over, so you have to be careful. But, uh, eh, I mean, you know, you, it's not that hard to be careful, but you just have to do it, right? Okay, and then now, um, yeah, and then the next thing is going to be uh, now to the i plus current digit plus, uh, let's make sure that we convert to a string plus now i plus one i something like this right um and yeah and that's it if next is in forbidden then we continue because we can't go here otherwise we also just check that if next is in best that means we over already done it so we also continue uh eh, okay we can make otherwise um yeah then next oh sorry best of next is equal to best of now plus one and that's it i think Oh, uh, well, we have to append it, oops. Yeah, and then now here we return negative one, and of course, here, if uh, if next is equal to target, then we can return best of now plus one. Do I always mess that up? Because I think, eh, there, uh, there are two things that I, I'm still struggling sometimes, which is returning it here, and also maybe like here, right? Um, the reason why is that if you return it here, it's a little bit slower because you have to go for another iteration of stuff like before this gets popped and in BFS, um, this gets popped very quickly. But, uh, but here you get to, it's basically like an early termination. But as a result, if, if target is zero, 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 um, it, it gets missed in as part of this. And it's a little bit awkward in both cases, maybe. I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's give it a quick submit. Hopefully I didn't make a silly mistake. Oh, no. Oh, wait, what? Uh, wait, what? 
Did I miss? Hmm. Well, I probably just. I don't know what. I don't know what's going on. Eight seems right, right? Two, 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 two. Or oh, did I misread the form? Nine to be zero, zero to nine. Yeah, right. Why is expected negative one? Oh, 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 am I misreading this? This is the dead end? Uh, that's such a crappy dead end. Hmm. How did I handle it last time? I mean, we can just add an if statement, but it's just very silly. Okay, well... Wow, last time I was just careful. For some reason, I didn't think that the initial state could be a dead end, but I guess it can be. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's just... I don't know. It, it, it is a very silly case, I guess. I don't know. I just, uh, I'm also like, ups I'm, what I'm trying to think right now is like, should I have known or should I be careful? And it's not clear. Oh, it, well, I mean, this is definitely true, but, um, eh. but it's still just like way, um, I don't know. Like, I'm trying to figure out what is my reasonable uh, thing here. And I don't know, to be honest. Like, hmm. I mean, I definitely should be better, but eh, very sloppy. Hmm. Am I going too fast? Do I go too fast? Do I, I didn't even think of the edge cases, to be honest. Well, hmm. I mean, the only case where it doesn't come up is here. And we kind of talked about it as here, as the target, but... But I guess I didn't think about it for Ben. I, I think the thing that upsets me a little bit is that I do make this mistake not infrequently. Maybe not like super commonly, but definitely, you know, as someone with a 3,000 rating, you, you, know, you would think I'm better about this. But uh, I don't know. And sometimes maybe I'm just going too fast. Hmm. Am I though? I don't know. Uh, just getting old. Maybe that's it. Anyway, that's all I have for this one. Hope you didn't walk in a dead end. Uh, but this is going to be... It's hard to call it linear time, is it? Huh? I don't know. What is the time here? I mean, I think this is technically exponential because the the, uh, the number of states, the number of possible states is just going to be exponential in the, in the size of the input, which is target, right? It was... It was for example, if target has like 20 digits, then there are just literally 10 to the 20 number of states, right? Exponential. So technically, this is going to be exponential, but I don't know. Um, can you do a little bit smaller? I don't know, hmm, to be honest. Um, maybe you could speed up the simulation and then do it that way. Basically convert it to a, from a BFS graph to like a Dijkstra algorithm, but that's really annoying. That's really tricky. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, it, it's doable. It's just there's a lot of ways to get it wrong. Um, anyway, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. I'm going to do the premium problem afterwards, so definitely check out that video. Stay good. Stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.